Quickly on Oz Attack, we get our gear ready for the adventure, heading off from the Blue Mountains and out along the western fields of New South Wales and towards the Victorian border to the outskirts of Melbourne City to where we reach Tassie. So off the boat as the sun rose, then to explore around Devonport along the ocean side, where we'll do a list of tasks for my 22nd birthday and end up in Port Sorol to see the penguins at the beach. Hello and welcome to the video. The sun was shining through the bush to a wonderful morning by the beach. It was true, Port Sorol does have golden beaches as the sun brings the golden sand colour to the beach. Yep, so that's where we stayed last night, so the main walking track's just over there. We kind of came off them. We chilled by the rocks eating our breakfast. Then begin to pedal along the beach. This is quite cool. I like this. I haven't really ridden on a beach, so it's nice. Doing good. So this is uh, day three in Tasmania and day 25 or 26. Yeah. Cool. We would run into people for a good old chat. Then cut you across the same See, that would probably be the best way to get pits or even to derby. We had a good chat about the possible ways I could take. Then I had to search under the water and move slowly along the beach in search of little crabs. Yeah, I first ever learned thing I put on my bike yesterday, it survived 24 hours on my bike. Yes, yeah, that's pretty good. So we had a look at the beach. The beach. Right now we're gonna head over, over there. We're gonna head over there. 
from the field report and they are said that they're moving the track to take it straight to the to Greens Beach, I believe. We eventually moved on from Port Sorol. in search of an adventure along the road passing farms. So me, my bike, my puffle mascot and my birthday balloon headed along the cloudy, windy roads. Up towards Naron Tapu National Park to find the sandy trails. in which the bike toppled over because the sand was soft. So you saw I just came up the bike there going down the hill over there. I hope, uh, I don't mind it like this, but I haven't got that, I haven't got that tires on, so uh, I hope it's not like this the entire time. At least it says it should only take about an hour or so, so it won't be too bad. But uh, yeah, this is uh, just uh, four minutes into this little track. The sand trail soon turned into dirt, going up the mountain's hills to find away to the epic view of the coastline. Ah, wonderful. I took the wrong way up, this is not the way up. We've got to go back down a little bit and then go across that way. So, yeah. Then we're trying to head back to the beach to make our way to the end. With the wind pushing us back along the golden beach, with the green bushes along the bank of the beach.
So we headed back along the road and towards Launceston by Exeter. The sun was shining bright as it glowed and it set over the hills, trading a golden glow. Yep, all going good. Just uh, moving and grooving along. So yeah, it's been a pretty good day. So in the morning we did a bit of a... Uh, Sightseeing and chilling just around that area. Went for that ride around. Passing by the Exodus sign as the setting sun glowed along it. So we got into Exodus ready to chill by our tent. But we had to find a spot to set up our tent. So we went by a local pub. And the lady there was very helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Uh, perfect. Stay here with you know, that RV. And trust getting the wings. Get me a better. Get me food, my water bottles. I need to be out of here by uh, 8.30 or whatever. So. Thank you, that's awesome, Sam. So she gave us chips and a Fanta and directed me and me puff over by to behind the shipping container. So camp was set and we could dig into our food and drink after the unexpected 105 Ks that we did on that day from Port Sorel to the beach, then into Exeter. So up to our camp spot behind the shipping container. Good morning. Ready for the camp. There was our spot. Hot in the crank. So yeah. Good little spot. So let's uh, pack it up and then we'll uh... a lot of sand in all my stuff. Get on to. Then we might grab some breakfast from the nice little shop over there. Yeah, awesome. So let's uh, get a uh, crack it all. So the day of adventure had begun, making our way towards Launceston alongside the road. We have done over, over 3,000 k's. And yeah. set that I've got on now, and it still look like new. Okay, yeah, yeah. well hopefully, yeah. yeah, that should be fine. Alright, uh, so uh, you have a good day. So, you camped overnight, did you? Or? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, by the side of the road, or? Uh, oh, I actually, well, I asked uh, that place that said it's just, uh, if you let me stay there. Yeah. But usually I've been trying to find, I found like a few spots in the ocean. Yeah. Let's go, but yeah, uh, yeah. just... 
most of the game, but sometimes I might stay in Caravan Park if they're a good price or whatever, but mostly for you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... Did it years ago throughout Europe, you know, cycling yeah. and uh, sleeping by the side of the road yeah. with the bike. And... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a good adventure, though. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, you meet lots of interesting people. As yeah, I've well. met a few, few interesting people so far, so it's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And anybody invited you into their home? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that was nice. It's, it's really good, you know. You, you hear all the all, all the black news about you know people and the world, the way the, the yeah. world's going to shit, and then you you come across a few people like that. And you think, gee, you know. <laughs> yeah. New it is good. Yeah, yeah. So, thank you so much to this place. So let me stay in that area just there. That was awesome. One of them. Thanks so much. Um, usually they don't, but uh, they did for me. So thank you, thanks that lady. She gave me those chips and everything. Great night. I was able to set up my tent for the first time and pull the women all back. So awesome. So. We still have a bit of extra food to fill the void in our stomach. Nice to look at that bit of breakfast that is nice. We picked up a postcard and sent it to the family. Charging up some gear beside the shop. Yep, so I've got a few, uh, I got a few charging rods and I did that to my shop that postcard. And now I'm just going to put this stuff in there. <laughs> Collected up some groceries as we were trying to go off grid a bit in the next few days. Awesome, so all filled up there. This should be good for the next few days, like I said, hopefully, or more. Okay, that took a bit longer than I thought, but um, at least we got both the charger. So now we can uh, head towards somewhere and know that we have enough battery power for gear, hopefully, and uh, got enough food. That's it. Where are you guys from? Germany. Ah. Ah. Oh, Australia. So, sort of. Like this. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, um, so I started in Australia 23 days ago, and then I've been in Tasmania for four, four days. Oh, yeah. oh, nice. 
It was a great chat with them as they were tandem biking around the place. That's awesome. I was just uh, leaving for the canyon, I guess. I was just leaving. Uh, we're back on the road here. And uh, yeah, we're just uh, cycling along towards Launceston, and then we'll turn off and go towards um, Jacob's Ladder. Not up Jacob's Ladder today, probably not, because might as well camp out there and then get up there tomorrow in the morning or whatever. But. So we're on the outskirts of lawn setting looking for adventure. in lawn setting, seeing the clouds getting mad. And there you go, a chill 50 caves, a cataract gorge, for a nice swim in the icy water. Let's go swim in here and see uh, how cold it is. Oh boy, that is cold. So in we went, losing our breath over the beauty of the place. That's definitely some more. That's water. Jump over here and come over to there. Along to the scenic chairlift to get a lift over the rocks and the water and above the blooming flowers. Once we reached the other side, the animals were chilling around.
Mighty Liebird was in search of a friend. So it looks like a storm is coming, as you can see those clouds there. Looks pretty good over there. Stormy over there. We'll see what happens. There was this storm on the edge of it, so it may just literally pass over. There's your storm. But it looks like it's gonna like pass over us, and it's pretty insane. It's gonna pass over. Uh, so we'll see what happens. So I still need to charge up a bunch of stuff, so I charge them here. Yeah, now it, now it will worse, but um, I'm like a cafe thing, and uh, yeah, I'm able to charge my charge my stuff. So <coughs> yeah, we just went exploring at that place, and uh, I just thought, okay, yeah, so I thought I would uh, come in here and uh, be able to charge stuff. But the weather seems to be uh, going all good, so. I mean, we just got charged up. Um, I found the, I think on Google Maps, I found the campground, which is an hour away. So we'll find out that way and set up camp. And then tomorrow we'll head on to Scott's Ladder or whatever it's called. Jacob's Ladder. And my yogurt. Most, um, we will have yogurt. So no joke, we just found this uh, milk on the side of the road here. Not open until I just open it then. So I trust it, it looks good. Oh. I'll give it a taste, looks good, hasn't been really been opened, so I might just get squished by a car, then I didn't get squished by a car. So it's just sitting on the road right there. Right there. And so I picked it up and got myself free milk, so. Okay, the water we go. So the sun was setting, we pulled into the campsite along a dirt road and through the river. Unfortunately, it turned out to be a girl guides campsite and the girl guides are there. So I backtracked a bit and I made camp on the side of the track. It's cool. So that's kind of a fancy to have a spot, but there's a house down there, we can't say so there's, so we're going to go back to the other, other spot and go off. Okay. Awesome. So we've got our stuff set up. The sand as usual, food's down there, clothing stuff up the top there. Bikes there. Lock that up, make sure it's all secure. Can't really see where we are, but yeah, the road's like just a 30 meters down there, dirt road thing. The area of a campsite, the girl guides were, is about 1k down that way. So, hopefully, this spot's okay. The grass here. Oh, yep. Not sure, no, we put all the stuff in there about to cook up our dinner. So, with what happened there, basically, we got um, up to that last campsite um, around, around 
8.20ish, so before it was dark. So we filmed some stuff, got there, and then there were a bunch of girl guides there, so I thought, oh, okay. Maybe I was going to, off into the corner. Um, then I asked the girl guide leader, and they said, oh, then I'd be another spot if that's okay, you can go up. And uh, there was a fence there, and I did the bike on, but it was quite annoying. And it was kind of special messed up. Um, but I tried to go under there. Well, went down there, had a look, and there was houses down there, and you know, bike under that fence. For some time, so I thought I'll come back here. And there was this like grass spot, and I thought oh, she was going there first off, basically. But it's now almost 10:30, so uh, as you hours later, finally got a camping, finally got a spot to set up a stand. It starts at the tonight. So basically, a wrap with tuna. Um, cheddar cheese stuff, aioli, mayonnaise type thing, and sauce. It's just so good. So good. Next time on the Ozataz video series, we head off from our hillside camp spot, making our way towards the cloudy Ben Lerman National Park, then begin the trip through some of the less used trails in the peaceful bush. Don't forget, adventure is just outside your door.